Hello everyone, and welcome to another Live2D tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be going over blend shapes in Live2D. A sort of new feature included in the 4.2 update, which is extremely helpful and time-saving and allows for some really neat effects. So what exactly is a blend shape, you might be asking? In the context of Live2D, it allows us to manipulate a parameter without affecting any of the parameters it is currently attached to. So the best usage that I found for blend shapes in particular at the moment have been on parts such as the eyes and the mouth, especially if you're looking to set up the vBridger mouth, which includes more keyforms. It is helpful for any parts that you're looking to use more than three parameters on. So we're going to go ahead and test this out with our eyes here. I want to create an expression. Hmm, let's have her be an angry face. So I want the eyes to sort of squint in, look angry. Hmm, but I've already got things set up on my eyes. Let's go ahead and grab our eyelid here. So this already has three parameters on it. Now, if I were to make a new parameter, it's going to mess up all of these keyforms because I'd have to redo all of the shapes on each little green dot that we have. And that would be a nightmare, right? And you see, this is where blend shapes truly shine because we can add another parameter onto here and have it affect everything. So let's go ahead and create a new parameter here. We're going to call this angry eye. Since we're going to have this as a toggle, we're going to have it set to zero and one. And you'll notice that there's a checkbox here, which says blend shape. We're going to want this ticked. So you'll notice that on our new parameter, it's actually got a little square on it. This is to show that this is a blend shape. So when we add a form here, it will complain at you, but it's fine because this is a blend shape. They are boxes. So whatever you do to this parameter here, it will affect everything else that's on it. All of these. And since we're doing the eye, we will need to uh, put this on all of the parts that we have on our eye open. So we're going to go ahead and select this and add that there. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our angry eye look. So now we have the desired look that we want. So she's looking a lot more angry at you. But here's the thing. This is affecting everything, right? So I'll smile. Yeah, that's fine. The squint? Sure. So it looks fine. But how does it look when we open the eye? That's fine. And then close. Ugh. That's not deforming how we want it to, right? This is where we have to edit the settings. So we're going to go and grab all of the parts that we edited. Maybe these three. Pop back onto this. We'll click this menu up here. And then you'll see this limit settings for blend shape weight. And it'll open up this little menu here. So you'll see that we have our blend shape selected. This is the angry eye. What we're going to want to do is add the parameter that we want to edit. So we are on the left eye. So we want to change this for our le eye left open. Add that on. And you'll see that there's this line graph here. Basically what this is trying to tell you is what effectiveness it has at each point. Currently this is 100% effective all of the time. So we don't want this to be effective at zero, but we do want it to be effective at one. What we can do is use a preset. For this one, we'd have to use this line, like this. So you'll see it's 100% effective at one and 0% effective at zero. We can see how this looks. I 
and you can obviously edit this line if you find any little inconsistencies. For example, I've got my 0.2 and 0.5. It might look funny at those. Let's check. Nope, it all seems to deform as I'd like. So we can leave it like that. And that is a very simple introduction into blend shapes in Live 2D. They have a lot of usage. Um, I've been using them for these eye expressions, for example. I've also been using them on the hair to get some interesting effects. Um, and obviously the biggest usage is the mouth. I will be doing a tutorial on how I actually use the blend shapes to create a dynamic mouth. That will be specifically for vBridger, which is a plugin. Um, but for now, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are looking for more Live 2D content, and don't forget to comment if you have any questions or anything at all. I am always happy to answer. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Good luck with your Live 2D project. And bye-bye.